I've never bought a game before with so little knowledge than I did with Horizon Zero Dawn. Seriously, I can't overstate this. All I knew was robot dinosaurs and sneaking through tall grass to attack said robot dinosaurs. Need I say more? Seamless jump cut! This year has been so front-loaded with incredible games that it's been hard to keep up. Neo, Breath of the Wild, Nier Automata, For Honor, Resi 7, the new Mass Effect. Well, on second thought, oh gosh. Oh, oh my, maybe not, maybe not. There is, however, the matter of Horizon Zero Dawn, a game that I absolutely could not skip doing a follow-up video on after my completion of it. The synthesis of a brilliant open-world adventure blended with some of the best visuals of any console game ever. Mix that with a massive grand story that'll hook you from the very beginning and doesn't let go until the very end. Simply put, Horizon Zero Dawn is one of the best games on the PS4 and an exceptional open-world title. I'll be the first to admit it isn't perfect, but I absolutely loved it and I had to share that adventure with you. Also, this video may contain slight spoilers to the overall story. Look, everybody has a different standard for what they consider a spoiler, and no, I'm not going to reveal the centerpiece of the plot, but you may see some machines from later portions of the game. If you have even half an ounce of interest in robot dinosaurs and good game design, then you can just buy and play the game for yourself. And if you don't love robot dinosaurs, well, you can just get out of here before... Horizon features some of the most stunning visuals in any console game to date. The Decima engine pushes the PS4 further than any previous games for the system, all while holding a rock-solid 30fps even during hectic battles. The footage in this video is all from the PS4 Pro rendering 2160p down to 1080p super sampled. And <laughs> does it look good? I couldn't make it further than 15 feet before stopping to take a picture and gawking at the scenery like those overly zealous photographic dads at Disney World. Seriously though, I like photos. Take photos, people who take photos are cool. The map features tons of different areas and zones that embody very drastically different visual styles. The time of day makes a massive impact of the feeling and the tone of the area you are in, allowing the light to dance through the trees with a pale green glow of the moonlight to illuminate your path. Hop into the brilliant photo mode and look at each blade of grass as it shimmers. And as a side note to game developers, please do what Gorilla did and add a photo mode. This allowed me to not only set up time lapses, but to share my gushing at the visuals with every single one of my friends over and over and over and over again. Also, this game has this. Do you see this? It's called, it's called Wind. Wind. I don't know why, but it just makes the game like 90 times more atmospheric because Wind. The animations of Aloy are fluid, and every input has a noticeable tactile response on the screen. Some of the NPCs don't get the royal treatment, however, which can lead to the good old stick figure conversations the gamers have become accustomed to over the years. But for the vast majority of the game's main characters, this isn't a distracting issue. The game is relentless on how pretty the locations that you visit during the main quest are, building a crescendo in the game's visuals as you get deeper and deeper into the plot. I won't say that this is a game where you should go out right now and buy a PS4 to play it, but I will say it's a game worth buying a PS4 to play. See what I did there? Horizon gives you, the player, multiple ways to deal with every situation and doesn't hold your hand. It's the latter of the two that I appreciate the most. This game near the end is hard. Legitimately challenging with enemies that'll force you into pushing outside of your comfort zone to find creative solutions to taking them down. Horizon boils down to a handful of things. Sneaking through tall grass, hitting monsters in their weak points, and using your traps, bows, and gadgets to aid in this process. Rinse, repeat. And that's pretty much what you'll be doing throughout the whole game. Players who don't upgrade their equipment, who don't spend time learning enemy weaknesses, who don't use every tool in their arsenal, will absolutely struggle against the fights later in this game. Every one of the harder enemy types have a specific sequence that allows you to deal large amounts of damage. Discovering these sequences is extremely fun. It's what I love the most about Horizon. Taking down some of the bigger enemies that you earlier in the game hid behind a tree in fear of was exceptionally rewarding and granted truly the sense of progression as Aloy grew and became stronger throughout her journey. I've seen complaints of the game being too hard and I just don't agree. If you're willing to take the time and learn enemy weaknesses and experiment with the tools in your arsenal, fights become far more rewarding and allow you as the player to dictate the pace of a fight. It's not to say that Thunderjaw battles still aren't gripping as all get out, hand sweating as you frantically take down the behemoths within this game. I will note that by the time I concluded my playthrough of Horizon, I wish Gorilla had put in just a handful more enemy types to combat. It feels like the addition of four or five more epic level monsters would have made me play post-story completion quite a bit more. Perhaps the story DLC will add to this. Also, most side quests are nothing more than your typical fetch and kill quests. Fairly standard in open world games, but not very enthralling nonetheless. Speaking of the- This. This right here is the reason to play Horizon. The story of Horizon is so good and so unexpectedly gripping that you can't put it down once it begins to pick up. 
The game begins with you as a young girl named Aloy, banished from your tribe and raised by a quiet yet intense man named Rost. Rost teaches you the basics, and the story opens up from there. The narrative branches out as you learn of the different tribes of the land, the enemies that inhabit it, and the most important factor, the history of the setting. I really can't talk much more about it other than that in hopes to like not spoil anything for you. I've got to hand it to Gorilla. They managed to tell a plot that I don't think any players expected coming into this. You know how marketing oftentimes gives away the plot of a game or a movie before it even releases? I'm looking at you, The Force Awakens. Horizon avoids this in the best of ways. Do yourself a favor. If you're going to play through Horizon, avoid every possible story spoiler there is. This world turns out to be rich with backstory and an emotionally moving plot that will keep you pressing forward, desperate to advance forward to the next step. The length of the story is also what impressed me deeply. Oftentimes, these open world type games have little nuggets of main scenario quests sprinkled between huge segments of boring side quest content. Horizon doesn't. If you hammer the main storyline quest out, making that your primary focus during the playthrough, you are still looking at a lengthy quest. Skip ahead to this time code if you don't want to hear about how long the main quest took me. I finished the game's primary quest in about 28 hours. You could do it faster, and of course you could do it much slower if you were to explore the game's side quest content further than I did. I really want to take the time here to praise the map in this game because it's chock full of content, but like good content. A lot of times with open world games, the maps can feel like overly expansive to the point where it's lifeless and they didn't put a whole lot of effort in these stupid collectathons. However, Horizon doesn't do that. It's a large map, but not so large that it's lifeless, and you can tell they put care and craft into every corner of this world. The collectibles aren't overly filler. And the music. Okay, that's all I can play before the copyright gets in. The music adds poignant additions that enrich the experience further, with every moment being accented by the perfect balance of fitting tunes and silence when the game calls for it. The main theme of the game repeats at just the right moments, all pushing towards the crux point of the game's climax, which delivers a thoroughly satisfying and complete experience. Complete experience? What do you mean by that? Horizon is a complete game at launch and doesn't require a season pass, DLC, or microtransactions to round out its offerings. It has no microtransactions in the game. A huge, refreshing feeling as Ubisoft and games like Deus Ex push the single player microtransaction envelope further and further. Gorilla made a complete game, released it, let players complete the game, and then announced Story DLC coming later this year. Not DLC they had bottled up, ready to go prior to release, but DLC built for the fans of the game and sold only as an addition to those who love the initial experience. This is also a new IP, a new franchise, in a world where big publishers never take risks anymore. Just like Hollywood, big budget productions have turned into remakes, sequels, remasters, reboots, prequels, trilogies, and more. Studios and publishers don't take large scale risks like this anymore. They don't commit the financial resources to a new IP. And yet Gorilla absolutely nailed it and have sold over 2.6 million units of Horizon so far, displaying what an overwhelming success this game has been. Aloy isn't your typical gun-toting character either. Rather, she relies on her intellect, strength, and cunning to overcome the obstacles in her path. It's rejuvenating, downright exhilarating to get to play a game like this. A complete AAA experience from launch with a brilliant story, great visuals, and for how large and expansive this world is, I encountered almost zero bugs or issues. Horizon isn't a perfect game. I did feel like there were a couple areas regarding the story's pacing that I would have slightly tweaked. And again, I would have just loved a few more enemy types to encounter throughout the world. But those are very minor complaints when I consider the amount of quality playtime I receive from the game. If you haven't, try Horizon. Play through the whole story, and I do mean the whole thing. The game opens up into something you'd never expect, and yes, of course, robot dinosaurs. Thanks for watching this video! If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more from me, you can always click subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and go, hey, what's up, dude? And I'll be like, what's up, dude, back. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time. It's a spear, guys. I was, I was pretending I was Aloy with the, with the spear. Oh my gosh.